Hello everyone, my name is Rahul. I am the executive chef at the Museum of Science Wolfgang Puck Catering in Boston. Uh, at here, we do a lot of catering events and uh, we do catering from up to small events, up to large events, corporate, weddings, and you name it. And I'm gonna show you one of the recipes that we have been using for our catering. We're gonna make uh, blinis with sweet corn and green peas uh, topped with poached lobster and sweet butter. So th this is how it begins. Um, we have all-purpose flour, and this is a recipe that could be easily made at home. I can provide the written recipe for this. So here we have the all-purpose flour, um, baking powder, melted butter, sweet corn, and sweet corn and green peas, then lemon zest, salt, pepper, thyme, and of course, uh, egg over here, right? So this is how the recipe begins. We go with, uh, we first make our uh, mixture with the egg and butter. So you're gonna crack the egg in the bowl. And as I said, it's a very easy recipe that could be produced at home in, within minutes. Then we're gonna add one egg, one cup of flour, one cup of buttermilk, and then we form it into a batter, slowly without any lumps. So we have to make sure that the batter is smooth, there are no lumps in it, and we work it enough. After that, we are gonna go with the rest of the ingredients. So I have zested lemon. Lemon zest is just like you take a lemon and zest it out, so I'm gonna use this lemon right here, and zest in it just to show like how it is done. So this, the flavor of the lemon is, is in its skin, and that's all we need to flavor this because it's gonna accompany a lobster and that uh, lemon flavor is always good, a citrus flavor. So this is our zest in there. And after that, adding that zest, we have shucked the sweet corn. So we have taken the sweet corn, grilled it and shucked it off. Uh, and then this goes inside the batter right here. So the, uh, the ratio be between the batter, the plain batter to the ingredients added to that is 60-40. So that means 20% of uh, uh, sweet corn, 20% of this chopped sweet peas, and uh, the rest of the flavorings. Now after this, once the batter is made, we have to still add the butter to that. We added the butter, and now we're gonna add the herbs that we have chopped already. So this is thyme, that gives a very fresh flavor to this. And then we are gonna add parsley, So these are the herbs in the blini and chives, which are already chopped up here. And we're gonna mix it all together good. Then once this mixture is made, so it, it, you may think like it's look like a pancake, chunky pancake batter, which, which it, this is how it should look like. And now we will add the leavening agent, that is gonna be the baking powder. We put like a quarter spoon of baking powder and then we mix it in all together. And baking powder makes, it helps it to, uh, the blini to rise a little bit up and they look fluffy. And then the last item is the seasoning, that is the salt and white pepper always. I prefer adding white pepper to that. And we have white pe added white pepper in that. So this is the basic blini batter. And now we are gonna rest it. Just resting this is very, very important for the blini to come out uh, perfect. And then after that, this uh, batter has to rest for say half an hour and covered. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how we do the blini and we process the lobster. So what are the main ingredients about it? Okay, now we're gonna process the lobster and uh, we're gonna take out the lobster meat from the tails and the claws. And then we're gonna poach it and slowly poach it in uh, melted butter, which is a very, very easy process. So first what we do is we disconnect the, the claws of the lobster. And then after that, we take out the tail and we discard the head portion because head portion has, I do not have a use for it right now. I'll leave it for something else later on. So lobster tail has been taken out here. We're gonna open it, we press it together. You have to be careful wearing gloves because the, the top's a little bit uh, hard. And then here we go, here is our lobster tail. Shelled out. And this is discarded. Then after that, I have the claws here. So when the lobster tail, it has got a vein inside and that is very, very important to remove the vein. And so we go here, we cut it up on the back. 
we locate it is right here go all the way down and pick it up so once these pieces are out we can give it a thorough wash and now we're going to break the claws down so to break the claws down the best is the knuckle pieces are here we're going to break this this pull out you see the cartilage come out and then we go and hit it right here it opens up right up here's our claw right here and so this is our prepared meat now once this is rinsed and clean everything is clear here we discard all these parts and then we're going to chop up the meat and now this is our meat ready to be poached so for poaching we're going to use clarified butter sweet clarified butter and i turn my induction on let it heat up a little bit put the lobster pieces in there and saute it together very very slowly and then we will touch it with a little bit of salt and some white pepper so this is our butter poached lobster that is going to be all um, ready to go on top of the blini once we are done with the blini so in the next step we are going to do the blini we are back with our batter that we had made for the blini and now it has rested for uh, up almost half an hour now we are going to try it up so I have a, a pan that has been heated up already and I have put a little bit of butter in there and now we are going to form the blinis so blinis are very easy they should be formed uh, or, or made just before very close to service so I am going to do a still small spooning we we'll just drop it right here this is a proper size and we we'll let it cook at low heat so as we see that the blini when while it is cooking you see the it's drying out on the side which is a sign that it is getting fully cooked down uh, at the bottom of it and then we'll give it a minute and turn it around and to see how well it is and then this is a little bigger size this is the size that I would go with it is always uh, advice to test your batter before like how it is behaving with the heat and uh, how it is getting cooked now see that we have blini already formed we will see that it's fluffy because of the baking powder in it and all the proper season, seasonings and the herbs are releasing the flavor in there so now this is our one blini that has been prepared now I am going to take this and dress it up so this is going to be our dish now on this this is something optional that you can do is a uh, little bit of creme fraiche that goes really really well with the uh, lobster dish so we do a little bit of a dollop of creme fraiche here it has got herbs inside and then we are going to do a piece of uh, lobster that we have been poaching right here so we get a piece of uh, butter poached lobster that goes right on top we do a nice piece of claw on that so it gets some show so the lobster is hot we have to be careful with that and then after that I will uh, garnish it with a small sprig of chive and that is one of our simple dish that is ready in few steps it is very easy to prepare this at home and it is very very easy to display any time it does not take tons of preparation and this is one of the dishes that we do with our catering at the museum of science for all kinds of event so if you are looking in future to book your event with us please feel free to contact us and also uh, we assure you that we will provide the highest quality of hospitality and the best tasting food ever thank you